Hi, I think you're never gonna release a game. Is that a challenge? Mm, yes. Okay. Well, now I actually gotta make that game. Sh <laughs> After playing Fortnite for 10 hours and then rage quitting, rethinking my life choices and then watching some Twitch, I got an idea for a game. So what's the most fundamental thing of a game? Exactly, a character controller. But stop, nope. before we go too deep into development, we need to do something way more important, planning. A good plan takes you 50% there. So for this project, I actually made a plan. This is not my life after all. What the hell? Now I have an elevator pitch, a detailed explanation of every ability, that kind of shit. Okay, stop. Stop it. I think I should explain what my game is about. Here's the short version of the elevator pitch. What if Granny and Dishonored had a baby? Oh, wait, that sounds wrong. So, what if we take the whole escape thing from Granny, but with a bigger map? It is four times the size. With more enemies and abilities from Dishonored. Wait, ability? Yep, your ears weren't lying to you. Fantastic, right? My game is basically a combination of the mobile game Granny and Dishonored. So let me just take this real quick. Don't worry Bethesda, no need to sue me, cause um... What am I stealing from Granny? Well, her purse. Well, her well, well, stay tuned. Let's talk a bit more about abilities. They are gonna be one of the two primary ways the player interacts with the world. More on the other way later. This video is sponsored by Zenva. If you're excited about game development with Unreal Engine, go check out Zenva Academy. Not only do they offer comprehensive courses for both beginners and intermediate developers, but they also have a fantastic free introductory course to Unreal that covers all the basics to get you started. What's really cool about Zenva is how they combine fun and practical learning. You'll have access to professional video tutorials, written lessons and interactive quizzes. Plus, You'll be building real projects across various genres like strategy games, RPGs and FPS, getting hands-on experience. But Zenva isn't limited to Unreal. They offer a wide range of courses covering Godot, Unity, Python and other essential tools. With a single subscription, which includes a 7-day free trial, you unlock over 250 courses and 32 learning pathways. And I've got a special deal for you. Use the coupon code in the description or pinned comment to get an extra 20% percent off the first year of your annual Zenva subscription. This is on top of any existing site discounts and is a fantastic opportunity for big savings in your game dev journey. This special offer is only valid for the first 50 subscribers, so better be quick. So if you always wanted to begin learning Unreal or want to explore other areas of game development, Zenva is your go-to place. Check out the free courses in the description and pinned comment. And don't forget to use your coupon to start your adventure in game development today. Thanks again Zenva for sponsoring this video. But what would an ability be without a cost? Right, overpowered. That is why there are souls in my game, which act as a currency for abilities. Currently you have to pick them up as a pickup. Let me know if you have a better idea. Right now there are three abilities. Let's quickly go over them. Have you ever wanted to smash your head against the wall? Well, now you can smash your whole body through the wall. Oh my god! Ghost Dash allows you to dash through a wall in front of you if you are not blocked by anything. My intention for every ability is that there is a risk and a reward. The risk in this case is that you don't know what's on the other side of the wall. There could be an enemy or something else you'd want to avoid there. Enemy spotted. The reward also has to do with enemies. Let's say an enemy is chasing you. Just dash through a wall to escape them. Every good game needs some way to fly. Well, maybe not like that. So mine has one as well. Well, not really fly, but hover over the ground and move around. For this, I introduced an ability stamina bar. Every ability consumes ability stamina when it's activated and while it's used. If you run out of stamina while you're in the air, you fall down and might get fall damage. 
The cool thing of this ability is that you can scope out an area with a lower chance of being noticed by enemies. Because you're in the air. You in the air, you lose. The next one is similar to the previous, but you can free cam while the player stays at one spot. The twist here is that you become more visible to enemies because of, well, things. Going to explain that in the next devlog. This ability would be way too powerful without some limitations. So I made it that you can't go too far from or too near to the player. If you have any ideas for more abilities, just let me know. Okay, we have all of these abilities. Great. But how does the player select one? Ah. I'm glad you asked. Let me present to you the most shittiest and most work in progress radial menu ever. <laughs> one day this will look like this, but for now, whatever this is has to work. Let okay, me ask I you a question. question. What is something every good horror game needs? Of, of course. course. Flickering lights. Is it just me, or are they kind of flickering in and out of existence? Just like my will to You turn me on like Exactly. I made a light switch. But it's actually a fancy one. You see, in Unreal there are those things called interfaces. Into what? Okay. okay. Let me explain the basics real quick. An interface is basically a function that can do different things in different actors. An interface do tells an object cat. to do something. And then the object does whatever it was programmed to do in that event. I have an interface called BPI light switch. So, when the function interact gets called, the light will turn on and off, but I could also make the light burn. Like my enemies. Let me show you a small clip of gameplay. Tell me wh what's wrong with it. Is it that Lumen updates too slowly for the lights to really flicker? Oh, hell no, man. Mm, yeah. Maybe, but also not what I was looking for. Nope. Is it that there are no textures in the game at the moment? Also yes, but also no. More on that later. Cliffhanger! Is it that the player does not have footstep sounds? Yes. Well, well actually no, but yes. I'll explain that in the next devlog. But yeah, the whole game... By the way, join the Discord. So after spending 3 hours on freesound.org and trying to find a few good CC0 sound effects, I had an idea. I have an idea! What if I just record these sounds myself? Perfect. I know, a small step for an indie, but a big step forward for my game. It's literally one step from my chair to the door. If we now edit those sound effects a bit and throw in a few others, it's a whole different game. Take a look, get it? Take a look, because you can only hear sound effects, not see them. Oh my god, did you see that? I opened the door, and then I went on site and touched some grass. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm a game dev. What are you thinking? Remember how I said that there are two main ways for the player to interact with the world? Well, the first way was abilities. And the second way is my interaction system. Every frame I check if there's an object in front of the player that does something when you interact with it. Using a raycast. I ain't gonna call it line trace unreal. Nuh uh. When there is something the player can interact with, I'll change the crosshair. Remember I said I was coming back to my game having no textures? Well, let me make a confession. I suck at art. I can 3D model, see my 3D model challenge on Twitter, which I stopped after day 6, hee <laughs> hee. It's just not fun for me and a bit mentally draining. So what did I do to fix this problem? I'm not gonna use textures and I'll only use a few models, so that I have to spend as little time as possible in Blender. I'm not really sure about that art style at the moment, so please give me your opinion on this style. Thanks. Let me talk about what you can expect in the next devlog. I need to add enemies to the game. Maybe I'll stream that here on YouTube. Also, I'll add some of your ability ideas. If you want to support this game, the best thing you can do at the moment is share this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next devlog. Thanks again Zenva for sponsoring this video and leave a like, join my discord, subscribe to not miss the next devlog and see ya. Bye!